What's up y'all, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to another video. We are diving back into the engine bay of the Evo today and it's gonna be an exciting one. <laughs> So yeah, we are jumping back into the engine bay. I am super excited to get in here today and do some work. I'm also very excited to show you guys what we got going on in here. Um, first, let's explain why we're doing it, but also let's get the box open. It's right over there. It's got some cool stuff in it. That one right there. <laughs> Yeah, so over here in my pile of parts, uh, <laughs> we have the old hard brake lines. Um, and ever since the start of this, I've known this has been a piece that I kind of wanted to touch because they look like crap. They're corroded, they're rusted, um, they just look bad. And so after doing all this work in the engine bay and all that, I was really not wanting to put those back in there because of how they look. Um, so since the beginning, I've been pondering the idea of doing my own custom like stainless brake lines and all that. And so after factoring in the cost of the tools to make it a super easy job, uh, the materials, all that kind of stuff, my learning curve, knowing that I'm going to mess some things up my first couple tries, getting the bends right, all that kind of stuff, um, it was getting to be pretty high in price. And so um, I was thinking like there has to be a better solution. There has to be another solution out there somewhere uh, for all these like old cars getting restored, race cars, all that kind of stuff. There's got to be something. And so um, I got a hold of the guys at Finishing Lines and I am pumped about this. Check it out. We went with the finishing lines kit that is going to keep the ABS module in the factory location. And so this is every line we need in the engine bay. And these things look so good. I can't wait to see them out of the bag. But like, they're all stainless steel lines. Uh, we got black lines, blue ends, new connectors, obviously. Um, it's just going to look so good. This is wildly above the uh, crappy hard lines we had going back in. And so, um, yeah, I am super excited to get these installed. So let's start putting everything back in. The brake booster, master cylinder, all that kind of stuff. And then we can begin running these lines because I cannot wait to see these in the engine bay. <laughs> All right, first things first, we got to get this brake booster um, kind of put back together. So master cylinder going on right here, uh, get everything unwrapped. We finally got it where we wanted it to on the paint and all of that. And so um, it could be better, but um, you know what? At some point, as I've said before, you got to know when to say when. And I'm saying when on this thing. I already did this probably four or five times uh, <laughs> trying to get it. Uh, absolutely perfect and so um, it's as good as it has been so um, we'll go ahead and call it there um, it still looks really really good looks nice and refreshed so uh, can't be too mad all right so now we got master cylinder let me get another paper towel here master cylinder going back on which is super exciting clean it out a bit make sure there's nothing going on in there that we don't want going on in there um, looks pretty good Looks good down in there. It's got some, let me get some gloves real fast. It's kind of got some weird funk uh, down in the, uh, where the lines go. So I'm gonna take this towel here and wipe it out a little bit. Um, just to try to get everything out of there. I don't want anything like weird getting into the brake lines and things like that, but um, yeah, that's good there. All right, we also got the um, replacement gasket that goes on this thing. Um, this is the part number if you're curious. Doink. Um, so yeah. This thing goes on the back, right about here. Boop. And let's go throw it in the car. While we're in here, I went ahead and uh, popped in the STM driver mod. And so I got that hooked up to the master cylinder of that thing back there uh, for the clutch, which runs all the way down through here. We'll just leave it hanging here. We'll get it out of the way. Um, and we will have that line already ran. It's so weird putting things back on the car. <laughs> While we're here, might as well go ahead and install this here bracket for the ABS module. Um, this goes right about here. Um, and we got all these lines already ran. The O2 sensor goes down there. We'll have all those tucked in behind it. Should be solid. Got these moved. Um, yeah, let's throw it on. As per usual, we're doing the custom Blurple titanium hardware on this. Alrighty, got that in there. Um, let's go back. I'll grab the ABS module and we're going to do a little bit of restoration on that thing. Um, I won't show you all that. It's more sanding and more spraying of uh, paint, but um, I'll jump back whenever I get it all nice and cleaned up and I will explain what all we've done. Okay, so we're in the process here. We got all the plates and stuff off of here off the back of this thing. Um, this kind of makes me nervous to look at or like have it apart like that, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, they obviously it comes apart, so um, it's not like it's uh, messing anything up, but got all the plates and stuff off of there, uh, sanded it down. It was super corroded and rusted on the back of there, and so um, got that resprayed in some black, got it all smoothed out with the uh, 
with the uh, red scotch bright, and then we got some aluminum paint on the spacers here that go on the back of this thing. And I have, oh yeah, this is the um, other module. I kind of taped it up um, quite a bit and then just sprayed black around the like edges that showed the metal. Um, kind of sanded it as best I could, um, but yeah, that looks nice and refreshed and um, won't have the rusty spots showing and all that. So just letting everything dry before I put it all back together. But next we got to work on uh, this thing because that looks like poop. <laughs> While that stuff's drying, I'm tired of waiting. So I'm gonna cut open one of these things uh, from the module to the front brakes, and I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna put it in the car because I wanna see it. <laughs> yes, buddy. That's good, I'm not gonna slice that too much. That would be some shit if I messed up the lines <laughs> just opening them. ABS module to front brake hoses. Very nice, good grief, look at that. <laughs> Okay, we got the brand new like rubber kind of grommet, so that will that slid right on, so that was no biggie. Um, so we're gonna stick that in right about here. Oh, look at this blue. That is almost perfect. I mean, how much closer could you get? <laughs> in you go. Pop the grommet in there, and that. Is that I already ran um, the other one to the passenger side um, that one's kind of just hanging out right here don't really have anywhere to uh, put it just yet so I'm gonna tuck it in right behind that um, but good grief oh, I just cannot get over how close that blue is to the actual car and how clean this looks like look at that that is as wild this is gonna take this engine bay to a whole other level I think I mean uh, with this bronze uh, on the brackets and all that stuff in here with the JDC uh, tie hardware, these finishing lines, um, this is going to look so, so good. I mean, look at this. That is almost identical. Wild. Uh, I wish this stuff would hurry up and dry. Like, I want to put it back on the car. Um, like, this turned out super good. Uh, when I first sprayed it, there was like a couple little bubbles. Um, it looked like dirt in it or whatever. And I was like, damn it, I'm going to have to sand that again. But it leveled itself out, so um, happy error. <laughs> I really want to start putting in the other lines, but I also like, I guess we'll wait for that crap to dry. I don't want to like put those in there and like there's a bunch of lines flopping around and it could hit something, scratch something up, whatever. Um, so I guess we'll wait. <laughs> Okay, so it was a couple of days later. Um, I wanted to wait for these painted parts to like dry all the way. Um, so yeah, everything should be good to go, good to handle, all that stuff. So we can put it back on the ABS module, put the ABS module back into the bay, and carry on. <laughs> this goes on right as such. in there looks good so just gonna slide this boop just like that grab some titanium because why wouldn't we right on there damn that looks good <laughs> and yeah um, I'm not gonna waste a titanium nut for back here so we'll just put one of the old ones on, clean it up a little bit, and we'll just put that on back here, and boom, ABS module is back in the car. Went ahead and tossed the brake booster in there, and damn does it look good with that fresh paint on there, and you know we had to do some titanium on that as well. God, um, I'm going to hold off on putting the master cylinder on because I have to run a hose uh, from there to the master cylinder that... Um, I forgot to order, so <laughs> I have to order that and get it here, and I don't want to block everything off right here and then not be able to get to the hose, scratch shit up, uh, tighten that thing down as well, and so yeah, we're going to leave it off for now, but um, damn. So yeah, moving on from the brake booster, all that's over there, I'm going to go ahead and finish running all the other lines and putting it into the module and all that stuff, and then we'll jump back whenever everything is hooked up and we'll see how this stuff looks. Oh man, these things look so good. Check it out. Holy cow. So, um, yeah, this looks amazing. Um, we have to get some clamps still to like hold everything together and like run it around, but um, that's where all the lines go. These go to the master cylinder here. This goes to the um, K 
caliper on this side obviously and then these two um, go down to the rear which let me show you something that I didn't realize when I got this kit but I literally just figured it out and it's kind of cool um, kind of maybe a little bit sad <laughs> It's actually really, really cool because I didn't realize it, but this kit um, runs all the way to the rear tires. And so it removes every hard line on the car, which is really, really awesome. Um, kind of sad for me though, um, because I think that I'm gonna have to drop the gas tank again to get these lines in there and get the old ones out and all that. And so um, that's kind of a bummer, but we're gonna have some really, really cool lines on there. So that's a plus, um, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. I'm gonna run these lines, tape them off in the back, and uh, we'll cross that later because uh, we need to get this part done first, this front part, and then uh, we can worry about that after everything's back together. So, um, yeah. But in the meantime, I'm gonna sit here and drool over this kit a little bit. I think this kit took the engine bay over the top, or is going to. It was already gonna look really nice, but getting rid of those hard lines, uh, we improved on the functionality and the aesthetics, I believe, and I just could not be happier with how this thing turned out. Quality of the lines, colors, all that stuff is red. Um, I will put this kit down in the description and you guys can contact Josh at Finishing Lines and do what you want to do as far as colors and all that stuff, but um, I will put down there what I ordered for this kit and uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this off here. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it very much. As always, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the process, the progress. If you have any questions, drop those down there as well. I'll be glad to help much as I can. Chat, whatever. Let me know what you guys think about this kit while you're down there. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.